Something we did not mention in that last one was actually truncating these posts on our post list. Um, the reason for that, it has to do with, we just wanted to talk more about template tags in general. So um, if we look at the template tag library for Django, so if you go to built-ins and templates, you see these template tags and filters. So just Googling Django template tags will bring you here. There's all kinds of things that you can do with template tags as we've seen before, like block. We use block a lot for template inheritance, um, but there's also built-in tags. So like when we did truncate characters, we had this actually um, come through and truncate the characters as we seen. So now that we have the markdown set up as we do, we can actually go inside of our post list and use that same thing of truncate characters and just take a look. So if I refresh in here, now what it does is it actually will remove the characters, right? So every single character, including the image, right? The image is gone now and it removes all the characters and now it just has that, that main upload image that we did before um, in the original posts. So um, what we can also do is use a template tag called truncate HTML. And this is kind of cool because it's aware of HTML tags. So if I did truncate HTML to nine, um, and then I refresh in here, it changes, it shows the image. And if we look at some of the other ones, it will show the image as well, depending on if it has an image. So this new project right here, I'm gonna actually edit this. I'm gonna call this new markdown. Let's just call it that. Um, so if we look at new markdown inside of the post list, and scroll down a little bit and we see new mark down here and it's saying hello and notice it's truncating the characters it's not showing all of them if i change it to 120 uh, it does show a lot more but it still truncates the html so it actually stops the html and doesn't really cut it off and it's still rendered well as far as markdown is concerned it's still rendered correctly but the html itself is truncated which is what we would prefer to see we would definitely prefer to see that um, so that's pretty cool. So truncate characters with HTML um, just just gets rid of the characters inside of HTML tags as we see here. Um, but you can also use this for truncate words as well as truncate words in .html. So you don't want to cut off a word. You can use truncate words and let's just say like 50 words. And that way, if your post is a certain length, it's not going to just cut off the words there. Um, but the, the truncate cars or truncate characters the nice thing about that is it adds the little dot, dot, dot after. Um, that's just a little nice feature of Truncate Cars HTML. Um, so that's what I'm gonna leave it as. And you can just change the amount of characters that you wanna include there. And of course, that actually includes spacing too. It's not just the word itself. Um, that's why you'd wanna use Truncate Words. All right, and then of course, there's a lot of other things with template tags that I definitely recommend that you check out if you haven't done so yet. Um, one of the things that's kind of cool is like this unordered list. You can actually just pass in a list element um, from Django and then use the filter unordered list and it would actually filter it out accordingly. So play around with these things. See what they are because they are rather useful for the stuff that you are trying to do um, with your templates. Now that being said, don't always use template tags. Whenever you can write the logic inside of Django that is not template tags, do so. Um, the key thing here was the markdown stuff. We could have used the template tags for all of this, but we don't wanna use the template tags in this case because if I end up building an API, for example, this method is way better for me to actually get the HTML. It shouldn't actually be called get markdown, it should be called get HTML, but I'm calling it get markdown just so we can understand it as far as context is concerned. But realistically, this would be called get HTML. And if I built an API, this would be a much better method to use than trying to filter the template tag and stuff like that. Um, so that's another thing to consider as well. Cool, so if you have any um, questions on template tags, let us know. Um, otherwise, we will see you in the next one.